Peak dog. My man. What's happening, dog? Nothing. Just trying to find that wealthy big girl. Pad these pockets. Wealthy big. <laughs> Man, they gonna kill you as soon as they catch you. I won't even schedule like a live, like a live uh podcast because I know they're gonna put a hit out on you, dog. <laughs> like literally, it's like Malcolm X, like in the movie where they some some girl gonna hop on, get your hand out my purse, bitch. Get your hand out my purse. Oh, Next thing you know, you're gonna be like, sister, sister, they gonna run up and knock your ass down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Why why are you why are you so hard on women, man? What is that really about? Like I, I straight up like I'm what's not that hard about? On them. You don't think you hard on them? I just spent a lovely day with one. It's a lovely day for her, but you know. Whatever. <laughs> so women just don't have no value. No, they have value to society, to the universe, to the people who need them in their lives, of course. Just it's not one of those people. Have you ever thought that you might have been gay? No. I could ask you, because we could ask real questions. Like, you, know, you my nigga, so I could ask you real questions. No. So how... It's you, not you the sexual you, part. That's the, only, that's the only worthwhile part. So what makes your relationship with a male friend and a female friend different at that point? I used to have a lot of female friends especially coming out of like a track and field athlete as a co-ed sport. So in my, you know, mid twenties to late twenties, I had a lot of female friends. Okay. So I'm saying, so you don't think of a relationship as a thing where like females and males, like, right. So like a relationship where it's a friend that you have certain benefits with. I don't know. I mean, I guess that's probably what it is, but it's done, the, the dynamic's different. And that's a that's a lot of um, that's a big role, you know. Like a a, a girl, like if I had a, a girlfriend or a wife, they would take up more of my time and energy and resources, etc., than like all my guy friends combined ever could or would, you know. But do you feel so? At that point, it just bothers you that they absorb so much of the time. Well, it's kind of like this. People used to ask me, like, why don't, which is actually kind of funny <laughs> the way it would happen. But people used to ask, like, why I didn't like to date white girls. And I'm like, I get people who do. I totally do. And people who are like, I'm even like black guys, like, I would never date a black woman. I, believe me, I get that. I, I'm sympathetic to that sure. talking point. It's just to me, the cool things, like the benefits, the pluses of dating like a white lady versus a black lady, they're not, it's not real valuable currency. And as I've gotten older now, like I've been by myself a long time. Now, just, just in general, the, all the cost, effort, energy, et cetera, that goes into the sustaining a relationship and keeping another person happy, all that other kind of thing, versus what I get back from it, I'm, I'm trading out dollars for pesos. It's just, it, it's not a good currency trade for me. So you're saying emotionally they don't provide that value worth everything that's going on. Yes, absolutely. It's a, it's a cost bell. It's a cost uh, benefit catastrophe to me. So what would she need to do to provide said value where you feel like she, you're getting a deal on the time you're putting into it, the resources you're putting into it, everything that she absorbs from you, what would she have to do to make that of equal or greater value? Become estranged? <laughs> Honestly, like, give me tangible things. I did. I, I mean... It's it's impossible. I mean, that's that's the just give me something. Well, just use your use your monetary mind, right, and give me a fair trade. It, it wouldn't. It wouldn't be 
what could she do to up her value? It would be how much less would I have to contribute to match her value? Because her value not going to go up. Okay, so let's say this woman specifically, right, is she pays the mortgage sometime. You come home, she pays the mortgage. Mm -hmm. Right, and... That falls in she's not with she's my not trying to see you. Principle. She got her own homegirls. She got her own homegirls, right? Mm -hmm. And they do their thing. So she's not in your face all the time. Yeah. Right. But she makes sure she left she leaves your plate in the microwave. Right. You come home, the house is clean. Mm -hmm. What if her demands of your time and energy? This is all obviously impossible. But let's yeah. say, let's say in a in a uh, weird science type of universe. Right, weird science type of universe that this was possible. What if I was a kept man with ultimate autonomy? No, not not kept man. Right, you 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 pay the mortgage sometimes. She pays the mortgage sometimes. Mm -hmm. She always makes sure you have food to eat. So even if she's going out with her friends, she still comes in at a reasonable hour. Your plate is in the microwave. Right, she's not sweating you about time. She comes. She comes with the fresh Cuban cigars, hand wrapped, hand rolled. Right. She knows what you like. She got your favorite, you know, your favorite scotch poured up and she's not in your way. Because that type of stuff can happen. Can? Yes. That's not impossible. So to me, what would be impossible is a woman paying the mortgage sometimes and still feeling like, I mean, it's not impossible. I take that back, especially with the sisters, because, you know, sisters come from. You know, it's a different in America. Most of the sisters had to work and still be what you call the proverbial, you know, wife or mother, right? Where they're yeah. cooking and working. So it's not insane to think so, but usually they start to demand your time in exchange for so much of the stuff. Yeah, that comes with a certain amount of patience, which is limited, and a certain amount of resentment, which is accruing. You know, so at some point, it's like you'd have to be a unique individual to just take, 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 while the other party is becoming more and more and more and more and more and more dissatisfied and, and for it to not even phase you in the least. But that would be tough. Is, is a relationship really. Like, is she's, are you really just taking from her at that point? Even if, though, like, let's say six months out of the year, she paid the mortgage and not really like, oh, I'm paying the mortgage, but really just paid the mortgage. Like, oh, I'm, I got it. And then you paid it six months. She's still providing a level of, um, I forgot the right word for it, but where she's around the house doing things that we think women should do around the house, right? She's still cooking, cleaning, keeping her spot. You still, taking the trash out. You're still doing the masculine things. She's not demanding all your attention. She's not actually making you compromise and do things you don't like to do. To spend time with you, she's doing things that you want to do. See, but that's the thing. I don't want that. I want to do things No, no, that I'm, I not saying, I'm not myself. saying she's going to go to the cigar lounge with you, right? She still lets you have your own space, but the things that when it is time to spend time with her and it's time to spend time, there are things that you like to do. She's not trying to break you down and make you do, you know, because that's all really compromising is for women. Like I, I used to tell women this, like I don't believe in compromises. Like if, if I fuck with you, I will do what it takes to make you happy, right? So there's very few things, like prime example, right? Like, a compromise would be something I hate to do or I'm unwilling to do to make you happy. So let's yeah. say, like, pause for the for, for crying out loud. You meet a girl who is super kinky, and she's, like, into dildos. That's her thing. Like, yo, I'm not into, you know, like, having dildos. Oh, you know, dildos eating. on you. It's not my thing. Sit, like, yeah. we ain't like, that ain't my thing. Now, I'm not going to compromise on that. And she shouldn't, like, to me, that's a compromise. Well, you have to do something that you absolutely don't fuck with for somebody else to be happy. But at that point, if somebody fuck with you, you know, why 
would they want you to, how could they be happy with you doing something you hate to do or that you aren't willing to do? Like it's different if like it's certain foods I don't want to eat because I haven't ate them, right? That's ignorance. I've never tasted them to even dislike them, right? But that's not the equivalent. Like if she says, hey, let's go to a restaurant, I'm going to go to the restaurant because it'll make her happy. Whether or not I want to go or not. Now, something I totally don't want to do is different. Okay. When you say go to the restaurant, do you mean with her? Uh, yes, with her. She oh. she will accompany you to said restaurant. Hmm. You don't want to go to a restaurant with a girl? I'd rather not. Okay, so you're not gay, but you don't really favor women. I know you're not gay. I've been around you enough. If you was yeah, gay, no. bro, you hit it the greatest I've ever seen. So I, I definitely don't. No, and I don't it's, get it's, it's not even a homosexual. To... Listen, I don't get a homosexual vibe from you even a little. Like, you're still a man's man. Like, you're not extra tough. You're confident in your masculinity. So... How could you just hate women? That's that too much? strong a language. I don't hate women. I, well, why would you I, not want to go to the restaurant with a woman? Because it's just an honest question. Annoy me. Why would she annoy you? Because it's just it's this is what's gonna happen. How? What because like for example? That's a couple of hours all told. You know, including traveling to and from, being there, all that kind of shit, you know? Yeah, but you do that all the time by yourself. Yeah, but I'm looking at shit. I'm focusing on shit that I have a active a interest and attention span with. Whereas otherwise, I'm just like, shit, are we doing this again? i going to listen to this shit again. You're going to go on What about shit that do again? you have to listen to again? Her voice, words, sentences. So women just talking annoys you. You don't think at it some can. place, you don't think at some place you might have to be worried like about actually hating women. Like, how does somebody's voice annoy you? Just because of her gender. Look, a lot of people's voices annoy me, regardless. Okay. Agreed, but but I'm saying but, you have pretty much. Well, like I was okay. This the, like I was spending all day with a girl from Trinidad today. She's super cool, gorgeous girl. But I also know, I don't know. Today she kind of she did all right today. I'm not gonna lie. Ten years ago, I'd have been like, I, I got to start buying some jewelry for this lady. Yeah, but is it the sheer? Octave of her voice, like if it was a girl with a no, deeper no, no, voice. No, no. It's okay. not that. It's so not then, that. what exactly would be so it's, annoying about riding with a woman? Let's say to Applebee's. It's the fact that, like, the conversational topic catalog is so so far from my personal interest they're so far apart so what if you led the conversations and she talked about the things you wanted to talk about then she's going to be feeling the same way as i am or she's just plain and simply not going to understand what i'm talking about can you mask the female gender or the female sex in that you know what i mean like no woman is going to understand or no woman is going to get it? Is that really where you want to be when Jesus comes back? Like, that's where you, that's the heel right there. You, No woman could be into the same things that Pete could be into. She's going to have to be one ugly bitch. Why would she be? You, I, I would like or, to believe, homie. I would like to believe, Pete. You'd like you're to a believe. I'd guy. like to believe all kinds of things. Yeah, I'd but, like to believe you're a handsome guy. So you're not an ugly white and feel me like you're not a horrible looking white guy and you into it so why would a woman you saying she couldn't be cute and into the same things you into yeah I'm, I'm i'm on a weird like intellectual journey you know 
in my life and I enjoy it and it's interesting to me. So like, I would rather listen to some, I would rather put on an earpiece and listen to some expert dissect market trends in Southeast Asia in the textile supply chain system than listen to this lady talk about any of the first 15 things she's going to want to talk about. It's just more interesting thought exercise to me. Now, while I agree with you, 99% of women are... Okay, first off, no sillies. GL, my boy... If Peter, they don't know at this point. Yeah, my nigga Peter in the spot <laughs> going crazy. Um, okay, now, I get that it's like a, a funny... It's not likely. It's, it's 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 improbable, but it's not impossible. What if she likes to listen to the same thing? Can I also speculate? Like, no, no, don't speculate. I'm saying, for example, let's let's live in this universe where she wants to hear the market trends of the things going on in some country in Asia as well. Then she's probably old boring and square and in need of being cheated on with a younger side chick i'm saying what if she's young what if she's three years younger than you she wants to hear the same things you listening to i'm pretty fucking old i'm saying she's three years younger she's not that far three years younger than me still pretty fucking old i mean but she loves what you listen to she could be a hottie feel me and i know you fuck with the sister so she could have went to you know, Spelman or somewhere, and she really into it. Her her mind may be on economics because she may be a wizard or like a a savant in math. And she loves listening sure. to the numbers and giving you sure. advice. And she's gave you great advice about the numbers. Yeah. Sure, sure. That becomes very much, you know, a a a a, a pin in a in a haystack, but it's not impossible. Here's here's another issue sure. where this is gonna create more of a wrinkle. A person like that, because that's rare. I'm sure, a, I agree. That's, that's, I'm that's definitely beat. going to be very few sisters. Because you see, once you made it sisters, now you didn't narrowed it down to just you know one. It's particular like Biden group choosing a Supreme Court justice is what it is. Well, he but, found a sister. He found one easier than you find one that likes to listen to the the market trends in some country. Because in Asia. he is more willing to compromise on standards and Supreme Court justices than I am in wives. I don't think he has a standard on Supreme Court justices. I know. That's the problem. Well, I, 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 well, that's the tricky part, right? Because standards is a questionable thing. Sure. Why would Biden out of anybody have standards? He doesn't have standards. He, he should just take sta- everything he, he, he two get. Standards. Biden should take everything he could get. He, he had two standards. Gender, ethnicity. Those were the only standards. And... Sure. Working as a judge. Well, it, it depends, right? So then it goes into the if the ladies qualify for the job. And I don't want to get into that because it becomes you tearing down a sister and I don't need to be kicking nobody ass because they need to be in the politics. Sub, it's a lot of it's subjective, but there there are a lot of more questions. There's a lot of questions in the sure, sure. space. He did what made people that. feel good, I would imagine. I'm sure homegirls qualify for the position. You know, based off whatever the qualifications are, um, I, I, I definitely believe there's always an underlying motive of how you want to be presented, especially somebody like Biden who has, you know, historically a horrible mark when it comes to, you know, how he wants to do justice and he wants to literally separate exactly how cocaine is prosecuted and. And, you know, the, the ability to create three strikes and all of these simple things where you get life, which mm. is somebody convicting you on your past, you know, offenses, which is probably should have not even been legal. It's a whole nother story. But that's like before we get carried away, because that's some whole other shit. Right. Let's say that woman. Is exactly that. And she's young and she's three years younger than you, but she's pretty hot. I mean, mm. obviously, she's not going to be hot sister hot is a she's not well Angela Bassett is she's not going to be um you know how hot she could be she could be Nia Long hot prime Nia Long hot Friday you know what's funny 
Yeah, that 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 could happen. Now, prime Nia Long Hot and Friday. Now, prime Nia Long Hot is not prime Megan Good Hot. Right? About so ten years hot. ago, huh? I had a traffic ticket, and I I got sent to like the Newport Beach Superior Court, and I was delinquent on this shit and whatever else. And the judge in there <laughs> was probably forty. I was about to ask for her number on the matter of court cute. record. She was killed. She knocked that shit from like thirteen hundred down to like four fifty, and I was like, you "What you gonna do that, room? <laughs> I can spend all this money on you. I just save at least a couple extra hundred. I was like, okay, nah, honey, that's your dinner budget. Hop out of here. Hold up, hold up. So let's say. I don't so know what happened say, to that lady. Um, I, I sped around that town for five years trying to get back into court. <laughs> so, but I'm saying so. Let's say she's near long. She's near long. Because you can get a lady that's into finances and economics, your sister, that's near long hot for sure. Now, Megan Good hot? Probably not. Megan Good is a different kind of hot. Um, you could probably get a near long hot. You can get a prime to not late than hot. Mm. I'm sure some not late probably studied economics at one time. She looked like it. So prime to not late than hot. Can't get a prime Janet Jackson hot. She's definitely studying economics. But I'm saying, so you telling me a prime near long hot, right? And she's in the economics. That's possible. Here's the challenge. That person probably also in the event, and this is a super far-fetched idea to even address. Let's suppose that lady could even so much as stand my company. She's going to be able to stand my company because... I'm so different. And she's like, wow, this guy's so fucking different. Obviously, that's you know pretty cut and dry. She's going to want more of my time than I'm going to want to. But what if she doesn't? That's a, that's almost borderline ridiculous. Then what's the, then the, right. what's the point? So you're in saying having, all having women. having to answer to somebody. That I see once every two weeks. So, so you're saying you don't want to spend time with the woman? Not like that. Uh, uh, okay. So let's say on a physical level, mm -hmm. you're married. How often, right? Yeah. Do you want to have sex with your wife? With your wife, who you've been sleeping with for years. Sleeping in the next room. Uh, I don't like sleeping next to people. I need, I need space to sleep. Yo, you need a therapist. Cause I, need, I don't like sleeping next to people. I don't like that. I think you sure nothing specifically old girl, happened. Old girl from Watson's out here like a month ago. I don't sleep good next to people. I just don't. But nonetheless, yeah, I don't know. Three, four times a week is cool. But So you're going to walk into her room from you, no, I'm gonna walk to the other room in my house that she's in. I'm, I'm saying, let's say she's paying the mortgage sometimes, so it's your house, but she's That's, paying it anyway. I already addressed, I the know, I know women week. like that. I addressed it, now, the equity conflict something. last week. My little bro, my little bro, my bro Mo has a woman who used to pay the mortgage at his property, no problem. Mm -hmm. So, again, she it was never their property, it was never the thought. So I'm asking you, so you're going to walk to the room that she's in to have sex with her and then walk back into your room after sex is over. Yeah, that's what so you don't you know want to. My, my, my one girlfriend I had back in the day, her parents were like that. Swear I to God. just think you've never been in love, Pete. I, I have. Maybe you've never been in love like I've been in love. I don't know how you've been in love. Said, but I <laughs> Man, you never been in love like I, I. I don't. Okay, so you know what a lot of it you, is because the way you talk about women, right? Mm -hmm. You talk about them. You talk about women the way like ninety eight percent of the women have been in my life, where you don't want to. It's like as soon as you finish, like what you about to do, right? Sure, but there's always that small micro percentage, two to one percent of women, where you like you've never slept with a woman that you didn't want to leave when it was over. 
that you didn't I've, want to I've be slept next to? With women that I didn't want to leave the address, but I still want to go sleep where I have some space. Like if there was literally time. like I Love Lucy two, if I had a big ass room with like two king size beds next to each other, they're gonna have to leave the room. I need space. Say that one more time. If I had a giant ass master suite, I don't need you to leave the property or I don't need to like leave wherever and go get in a car and bounce. I need some space to sleep. I don't like draping. Have you ever hugged a woman? Yeah, hug all the time. Okay. Have you ever hugged a woman when you were asleep? I don't know. Probably not. No. Did you get molested as a kid? No. So you you never found a woman who you wanted to hug when y'all went to sleep together. That you wanted to cuddle. They say cuddle. That's the word. That's women say all the time. Cuddle. You've never Before. found a woman you wanted to cuddle with in life. For a minute or two, not into a sleep, not like sleep like a teddy bear. No, I mean obviously, right? You you let's say you push off or you know, eventually once you sleep because you need your space. But you've never found a woman you wanted to hug while dozing off? I mean, I'll hug her and hold on to her till she falls asleep. Then I am moving on to where I can sleep. Do you think Megan the Stallion is lying when she says the bullets fired out the gun by Tory Lanez hit her feet? Do you think she's lying? Yes. No, I think they were shot in the feet. Yeah, I think, sure, okay. I, I, I've been saying that and people get mad at me. I'm like, I know what happened. Because I would have did the same shit, and I don't drink. Where like a woman is popping it loud, right? She popping it, she popping it, talking crazy, whatever she's saying. And I got my piece, and I'm like, give me my piece, and I get to popping at the ground. Dance, bitch, pow, pow, pow. Dance, bitch, pow, pow. pow. the old Joe Pesci, right? And one of the bullet fragments, the bullet fragment that broke off and hit her in the feet, which still means you shot her in the foot. And the way I feel about it, even with Tori, is. I would have respected it on some G shit if he'd have came out. Yeah, I shot at the ground. She was talking crazy. I told the bitch dance and popped at her feet. You still not really going to go to jail. You're going to get in trouble, but you're not going to go to jail. But I think it's weird for him to sit around and make this bitch look crazy. And, and, and no disrespect to Meg, like, you no, know, but like, and my niggas is like, yeah, you know, you know, it, she lying. And I'm like, why would somebody lie about shooting somebody? I've heard people say, oh, well. Well, she did get shot in the foot. She didn't lie about They, like, they she didn't, think she, she didn't never got shot foot in the foot. Heel. That's But that's what I'm saying. She, they, ne they they don't think she got shot in the foot. I'm like, yo, her medical thought, records, cuz, is, is right there. Yeah, see, I thought that people was pretty, is crazy because, pretty well established. But I think we're, what's funny is, right, I, I get, I've heard this, right, uh, a sense of like, like I am a, a chauvinist or I have a disdain for women personally. I'm like, that's silly. Like, just because I accurately describe women that I've came into contact with or that frequent my my realm, I mean, whether it's pop, but that's also in that same space where, oh, if you like Kanye, then you can never be critical over his decisions. You can never say I don't agree. Like we mm -hmm. in this kind of real lame ass, pussy ass, soft ass space where you can't, you know, be honest if you fuck with somebody and I don't know how to exist in that space. But I, like, I have a problem with a lot of qualities of people in general. So, some of those happen to be borderline like foundational cornerstones of like being a woman. Like I don't like a lot of the entitlement, the anti, like the rejection of like, you know, consequences and responsibility, accountability, all that kind of shit. I don't like, I don't like people to do that shit. I don't, I don't like grown ass men who like it happens every 17 feet driving through Fort Lauderdale who stop traffic in the left lane to zero in a 45 because they want to turn right in 35 feet. I hate that shit. I wish somebody would just 
fucking straight T-bone their asses right out of this world. Well, sure, we, we agree in a lot of sense, but I'm just trying to get down to exactly why don't you think there's somebody in this world that's a female that would be well, I guess that does sound crazy. Somebody that's like a perfect compliment. They, they have to do something you don't like. It's fucking a human being. It's a human being. It, it's pretty challenging. And I, I think a lot of it's just the fact that, look, at this point, I am i don't have a, a space void. Like, a lot of people, when there's nobody there, they feel the emptiness. I do not. When somebody's there, I feel the presence. You know what I mean? It's, it's that kind of thing. And I don't like having to be accountable to somebody on that level. I just don't like it. It's a little, it's heavy. I don't, you know, if I'm with somebody in a relationship like that, I, I owe them answers to whatever questions they have about whatever. What I'm doing with my time, what I'm doing with my money. I don't want to work here anymore. I want to go do this or I want to sell this and buy this or anything. You know, I, I don't want to. Go I don't know I if every woman is going to be worried about what you do with your money. They're going to be worried. They they have the right to be worried. Minus, the, but I don't think every woman really wants to be worried about what you do with your money. For sure, for sure. I, I've met women who are not worried about what you do with your money. Likewise, long as, as long as they have theirs to spend, they're fine. Well, it's not even theirs to spend. That's true, too. But it's not just that. It's also long as you're going to make sure, right, that long you are they making have their life share of mine to spend. I, I, that's not always true. It. That's not no. always true. That's that's that Al Bundy in you. That's not always that's true. That's pretty fucking close. That's you're not, you're, you're, not you're true. really taking the max value of the word always there. You got that smirk on your face. No one is knowing you are, too. <laughs> I don't. You got that troll smirk creeping in no, right now. That's just not true, though. P. Every woman is not always trying to take your money. There, every woman wants somebody to pay for them to take care of them. Sure, yeah. but they also, but you also will meet women who want to take care of you. Yeah, because that is a personality type in and of its own that comes with it a desire to. Kind of like be controlling. They want a pet man. Not a pet man. Bro, God damn, Pete. I've met women in my life where I'm not their pet man. Now, do they do some things that's questionable? Sure, like every other human being breathing air. You might be the only person that I don't that you don't do a ton of stuff that I don't think is questionable. I mean, whether you know, male or female when it comes to gender, right? Or sex, whatever they want to call it. Same shit. But Every woman does not want to control your economics and have part in it. And I there know. are some but, women. But the ones who want to pay your bills, they want to control other areas of your life. That's, they are buying equity. They are, they're like China, just gobbling up pieces of Russian assets all over the place for control to be had later. Xi Jinping pussy. <laughs> Oh, man. So if a woman <laughs> is investing in you economically or or being responsible, right, you're saying it's done with a hidden motive of wanting to turn you into a woman or control you. No, they, they, they want to have a lot of say. They want to know where you are, who you're with, what you're doing, when you're coming back. You know, they tell you we're going here on Friday. And no, I want to go here. Who the fuck you are. You better go find some place to stay. I pay the bills around here. We're going to my auntie's dinner where we're going on Friday. So would a woman who is decently responsible for a, a, a nice portion of the economics, would she feel like she controls everything? That's not impossible. Obviously, that's well, possible. Well, now we've downgraded I've, I've, I've it to decently before. responsible. I've seen that before. But, yeah, I can't argue with that. That could be true. I mean, there, there's always going to be one person, but that's not the majority of it. So, yeah, I'm, I'm in. Okay. 
So, but I'm saying, let's say you guys are going Dutch most of the time. Not like purposely, it's just sometimes she picks up the tab. Sometimes she pays the mortgage. Let's say she's a, a attorney that has a great job and looks like prime Nia Long. Not, not 20 year old Nia Long, prime 30 Nia, Nia Long. Hmm. Right? And she does want you to spend time with her sometimes. Even at times, sometimes you don't want to spend time. You're saying that type of economic dedication to y'all situation is not worthy of you saying, hey, you know what? That's why I think you've never been in love, bro, because when you love somebody, you love to spend time with them. Yeah, you know. Maybe true. you haven't been in love. I think I'm coming closer to that realization that well, maybe you've never been in love. That's not to say you haven't loved a woman, but you've never been in a situation where you and that person loved each other enough to where it's not a burden to spend time with them outside of the time you want to spend with them. Here's, here's the difference between those two questions. Like, you know, people to varying degrees, to, you know, to myself, to a degree I can define better than other people's are a constant evolution, the state of being, you know, 25 year old me, 38 year old me, different people, very different people. Yeah. But I'm saying even this version of you, right? Mm. Even this version, I think you haven't been in love. Maybe the younger version was, but maybe yeah, this, this version, version though. But this version isn't that isn't that old. This version's maybe four or five, four or five years old ish, maybe right that. That's what I'm saying. So maybe you haven't been in love to to where spending time with someone is not a burden. Yeah, that's fair, but the burden itself sure for sure what, what that, that's like a, that, that, that's will a, eventually it have its moments where it's a burden yes why is yeah. another question you know why is it a burden if you love somebody to spend time with them it's a whole nother issue right but i'm saying there's people i know like there's there's, there's girls i see occasionally and i'm like i love that girl like genuinely i don't think you but love i can't them, do I it think you I love can. sleeping with them or you love, you like qualities about them. But if it's still a burden to be around them, it can't mm -hmm. be love. Of course it can. Hell no. No way you could love someone and it's a burden. Well, yeah, that's not true. You could definitely love somebody and it's a burden to be around them. Yeah. And here's the issue. It's tough. I can love somebody and it can be a burden to be around them some of the time. But the fulfillment and gratification I get from the love does not outweigh the cost of the burden. And I know that. And I'm fine with that. Maybe that's because you haven't really been in love. You're asking, you're saying, you know how the mass of an atom is precisely what prevents it from traveling the speed of light? It's that same conundrum. <laughs> you haven't you, you haven't been in love, so you don't appreciate the burden. It's the burden itself that keeps from being in, in love. You know, that's the you know, of course the atom. So can't. the thought of you having to spend time with someone no. when you don't want to spend time with someone you love is what keeps you from being in love. No, the burden as it because that's the burden. Yeah, but the the burden isn't the thought. The burden really is the time. That's so, what I'm saying. Like, so the thought, because because you're not actually spending the time. It's the thought of if, spending time. If you were to propel matter and it was accelerating up to the speed of light, its own mass would slow it down. So it can get close and then it's going to decelerate. Sure. That's the same thing. So if it takes. So you said if, you, you start the journey of falling in love. Yeah. And then as she said, hey. Let's spend time on those times that you don't want to, which creates the burden, right? Of yeah, talk. or the wanting to talk or text or call or whatever the hell the other shit in. That's just hellacious. Sure, the fact itself. that she's speaking with you is a yeah. burden. <laughs> if not, it's the fact that there's an expectation that I have to fucking respond and participate. That's so the, the expectation that she is 
she deserves said conversation becomes another type of burden. Yeah, it's all burden. It's so, all burden. Again, so it can't. goes in, so so it goes into it's like like that TV show it, The Ninja Warrior. I can't even get through the first half of the obstacle course without falling into the fucking water. All right. That's just what it is. We can talk about all the obstacles. It's great. But I'm not ever going to get to that third one. I'm going to be in the fucking water because the burden's too great. Sink me into the water. Huh. So it's a specific word I'm looking for. The entitlement. Because you have entered into a relationship. Mm -hmm. The entitlement completely is what creates the burden. The sense of entitlement women have entering into what we call romantic relationships creates the burden. Yes, it is a pairing of the entitlement along with the integrity of the responsibility that I have to appreciate that it's actually warranted in that particular context. So you appreciate the sense of entitlement that they have? Yeah, I don't think it's, I think in that scenario. I mean, because once you're in a relationship, right? Yeah. I mean, so you're saying you would like certain, a relationship where there is no sense of entitlement. That's, that's not a relationship. I, that's what I'm saying at that point. So then you're saying you don't want a relationship. That's what I've been saying for 41 and a half minutes. I'm saying that's, that's the point I'm saying. I'm saying, and then I, you, you saying you don't want a relationship and I'm getting down to the reason is because of the sense of entitlement that comes with it. Yeah. That and the burden. Of so what if you, but, but that's what I'm saying. The burden is, the burden is created by the sense of entitlement. Yes. And, and I did say there are certain qualities and people I don't like and entitlement is one of them. Okay, so again, so what if you were in a relationship with the woman who has <laughs> who doesn't feel entitled to know me? That's a fascinating case study. <laughs> I should genuinely diggle me, girl. I like your uh, phone number. You are not entitled uh, to that. Yeah. We're going out for six months. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, so a woman who enters into a relationship without a sense of entitlement. Oh, that might be impossible. It's legally impossible without a specific contract in place. We've, I think we've mentioned this before. One of the most nauseating phrases to me in all of like jurisprudence in this country is in a divorce settlement when a wife divorces a guy who's got a lot of money and she cites the I'm accustomed to this lifestyle clause to prop up her alimony. Oh, you can't just tell me I can't live in a $10 million house anymore. I'm accustomed to this lifestyle. I need enough money to live in that same kind of goddamn house. Even though I don't make any money and never did and never will, I'm accustomed to the lifestyle. So you don't agree with that? No! <laughs> Not even a little bit. <laughs> oh man! Is it like poor Kelly Clarkson? Is that fair? <laughs> yeah, that's probably not fair. No. So, what if this person has suffered with you while she was building, while you were, let's say, y'all had kids and she was building, right? She was maintaining the household, right, while you was off to turn your fortune from. A hundred thousand into a hundred million dollars, right? So you didn't have to deal with certain aspects of the household. This person cooked for you every night, kept your food done, you know, the equivalent of a maid and a nanny and a prostitute, giving you pussy when you desire. What okay. would that all, if, all if, that if, combines if, about if Peter Boss is the judge in court? Yeah. Okay, you did that for what 10 is years. That worth? Here's two million bucks for 10 years. Two million bucks for 10 years? How much do you think a nanny, a maid, and a prostitute cost, for Christ's sake? 